Hello developer friends, today we're taking a look at how to display a mobile map package in .NET MAUI. For those who don't know, the MAUI framework is a cross-platform framework for creating native apps. To get started, you'll need to install the Esri ArcGIS Runtime MAUI NuGet package. I've gone ahead and installed the package already, but you can install this package by selecting Browse and doing a search for Esri MAUI. Now that we have our NuGet package installed, we need to do some importing at the top of our MAUI program CS file. We want to import the Esri RGS Runtime, RGS Runtime MAUI, and RGS Runtime Security. Next, we need to tell our app to use these packages. I've gone ahead and pasted some code to save time. Now, let's take a look at what's happening here. We're telling our app to use the RGIS Runtime. We're also calling a method to pass an API key. If we don't have an API key or the API key is invalid, then we can authenticate with our ArcGIS credentials. We'll see why this is important later on in the video. Now to make sure everything works, let's build our app and run it. Awesome, our package was successfully installed and imported correctly. Now let's move on to displaying our MMPK. I'm going to be working in the main page XAML and the main page XAML CS file. In our main page XAML file, we need to set the Esri UI namespace. That way we can call the Esri UI control. This control is what displays our map. We'll call this control my map view. We'll also wrap this control in a grid. Now we'll move on to our main page XAML CS file. Here we'll import mapping and UI at the top of our file. We'll also create a function called init. Inside of our init, we're going to create a variable that paths to our MMPK. Now, to add our MMPK to our project, I'm going to create a new folder and name it MMPK. I'm going to place our MMPK file here. After adding the MMPK to our project, we need to be able to reference it. We do this by two finger clicking on a Mac or right clicking on a PC and setting the build action to content and copying to output directory. Now back to our code. We want to create a mobile map package variable called Mahu MMPK. This variable initializes a new instance of the mobile map package class. Here we'll pass our path. Now that we have our MMPK, we'll want to await until we've read all of its content. Then, 
will reference the My Map View Controls map and set that to the first or default map. Now, let's call our init function in our constructor and run it. There we go, we're displaying a mobile map package. Before we go, let's take this one step further by adding a base map. To use the base map API, we'll need an API key. Since we're not passing an API key, we'll be prompted to authenticate with our ArcGIS credentials. Let's see what this looks like. Here, we can sign in with our ArcGIS credentials if we don't have an API key, but I'm going to add an API key off screen and run it again. Now, we see a base map. Okay tech friends, that wraps up today's video on how to display a mobile map package in .NET MAUI. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and share this with others who can benefit. Let us know in the comment section below if you have any ideas for future videos. Thanks for watching.